I wanted to do more than just say that I, we, we share communities. I wanted to actually get into bed with these people. If we're gonna practice and preach community that we, we, we walk the walk and we don't just talk the talk. What's up guys, I'm Wisby, artist, creator, disruptor. I'm here to translate how I see the world and put things in a different perspective. Essentially, I, you know, I grew up doing art, um, got lost along the way. Uh, and then I was reintroduced back into creating art um, when a buddy of mine asked if I wanted to go be his lookout uh, while he was doing graffiti. And I was obsessed with the scene and, and so I went out with him a couple times and afterwards he threw a sketchbook at me and he was like, you're talented, why don't, you, why don't we just get up together? And so that kind of like opened up the floodgates again. And so it just picked up a bigger following. With that, opportunities started to come in with galleries, corporate partnerships, was given an amazing opportunity to show at art fairs, was also introduced to an opportunity to get into the digital space, adopted uh, NFTs as a digital medium for my expression, and then explored that medium. And here we are today, kind of just building the ecosystem um, for, my, for my world of creativity and showing what life is like through my lens. Solid. I was familiar with crypto at the time, but not as much NFTs. And this was probably like April of 2020. Didn't really get it, but I knew that I had the opportunity to explore my artwork in a different medium. I started to educate myself. I learned more about what blockchain was. I learned more about what NFTs were. I learned more about community, the culture, DGEN, and where all of this, the history of where all this came from and started to think about how, what, I, what could I do to contribute to this as a creator. And the space itself is really, I think, it's, I think it's trying to find its identity, to be honest with you. And I think everybody's trying to find their identity, but forgetting to forget about being the cool or popular kid in school um, and, and, and sticking to what they believe in. I think it's, it's very easy to get lost in the space. There's a lot of blue sky dreams out there with not a lot of execution, but I think that the most important thing is it's growing and it's continuing and it's being adopted and it's really being expansive towards the creative community, but not only that, towards making just the world a more efficient place in general. What are vandals? It's a collection of 11,111 vandals, which are derivatives of the vandal gummy. That's what it is um, in the space of more of the collectible market. But my spin on that is adding another layer to it and incorporating more of the art. And so I did a fully 3D animated um, collection uh, of the vandals. They've got traits, they've come to life, um, they've got wings, they've got halos, they've got horns, they've got 3D glasses, they've got a lot of homages to some of the OG um, collections with CryptoPunks and and, um, and other projects that, that launched years ago. And it's a, it, it's, it's a project that incorporates my traditional, uh, more art world, uh, limited edition or one of one NFTs into this project and allows people to participate um, how, they want, how, the, how they'd like to. So if they wanna keep my traditional NFTs, they can, or if they wanna burn them, they can burn them for vandals in the new project. So what you have is a constantly evolving and alive project based on where the where the market is and based on where the collectors are at and based on you know how people really want to get involved. Um, and so the project basically is an expansion and an evolution from the first three drops of NFTs that I had into a larger market um, and a bigger audience and different community base but I'm actually trying to bring all these worlds together to the same spot. So the Vandalized Edition basically is, I really wanted to pay homage to a lot of people that have been pillars in the space, other artists that have been pillars in the space and allow the platform that I have to give eyes on people that are less known and also give respects to people that have kind of inspired or influenced me as well. I like to kind of call it my graduating class. 
Um, and so you've got artists in there like Mad Dog Jones, Fuck Render, Beige, Zoe Winters, Plant Daddy, X Copy, Steve Aoki, Boss Logic, Lefty, Flory, Isabel Addison, and I'm sure I'm leaving a couple of the names out. So there's 24 artists and basically I collaborated with them um, to be their own tier in the project. Uh, and so on September 28th, I'm gonna be doing a drop with 600 pieces from that collection. There's 25 uh, pieces per artist that will be available in the drop. And so, yeah, the collection essentially is an expansion into my world. I wanted to do more than just say that I, we, we share communities. I wanted to actually get into bed with these people. You know, it's like we now have a collaboration. Your art, my art fused together. We're on the blockchain and I, I stand behind and support everything that every artist that I've collaborated with does. And I think that it's important that if we're gonna practice and preach community that we, we, we walk the walk and we don't just talk the talk and that we really do support one another. And it was just dope working with all these other artists too, super fun. It was the first time I really allowed other artists to create their own narrative and story with my work, which I've never done before. So it was very humbling to kind of let my guard down and allow creatives to be creative with my work. Um, so it's definitely my favorite part of the project that I can't wait to release and share with everybody. I think NFTs have disrupted the fine art scene. We're only just scratching the surface for what it's becoming. And I hope you're as excited as I am about it.